the end of the first Easter day after Jesus had risen, had been with the two disciples on the road to Emmaus, and then he appeared in this scene. So while the disciples were talking about everything that had happened that day, Jesus himself appeared among them. And he said, peace be with you. They thought they were seeing a ghost. And they were scared half to death. And so Jesus said, why are you so afraid? Why do these questions arise in your heart? See my hands and my feet. <laughs> Touch me. Uh, uh, it's really me. Uh, a ghost doesn't have flesh and bone like this. And he, he showed them his hands and his feet. Well, they still couldn't quite believe what they were seeing. They were overwhelmed with joy, but, but still doubting. So Jesus said, do you have anything here to eat? And so they gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he ate it right there before their very eyes. Then he said to them, while I was with you, Everything I've said comes down to this, that everything that's been written about me in the law of Moses and the Psalms and the prophets must be fulfilled. And then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And then he said, now, now finally you understand why the Messiah had to suffer and then be raised from the dead on the third day and that repentance and forgiveness of sins be preached from, to all nations beginning here in Jerusalem, and you, you are my witnesses to these things. This is the gospel of our Lord. Please be seated. At the beginning of Paul's letter to the church in Philippi, Paul writes this. He says, I thank my God every time I remember you, constantly praying with joy in every one of my prayers for all of you, thankful for your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. Paul founded a number of churches in the ancient Mediterranean world, but I think his favorite congregation was the congregation at Philippi. He had this warm, close, joyful relationship with them. And so when he began, he began this way. I thank my God for our partnership in the gospel. I feel much like Paul. I thank God for our partnership in the gospel. I am thankful for so many things and for so many people. And so to morn, this morning I would like to just take some time to just tell you some of the things, not all of the things, but some of the things I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for our little ones, for the little ones who just went off down to the living room, uh, for our explorers, for their wonder, for their faith, for their curiosity thankful for our explorers. I'm thankful for Vacation Bible School. It was stellar this summer, and I got to dress up like an astronaut every day for the opening skit. We had a great, great time. Our Voyagers, I love those kids. They come every Wednesday, 35 to 40 of them on Wednesday afternoons. Uh, great kids, energy, excited, loving Jesus. So good to be with them. First Communion, that's always something I am just so moved by to be a part of this high and holy moment in the faith life of our kids. Giving out Bibles, um, helping our kids get into the Scriptures and come to know from the Scriptures how deeply and dearly loved they are by God going all the way to a cross for them. Our Pathfinders, our older elementary kids, intermediate kids, again, about 40, 35 to 40 of them, we meet Wednesday afternoons, and it's 
like the, the Voyagers, we sing, we play, we pray, we learn Bible stories, we pray with and for each other. And then our confirmation kids, this is us in November at Feed My Starving Children. Um, these young people uh, seeking at that age, that question about who am I is so critical when you're at that age. And to, to be able to tell them again and again and again, you are God's beloved child. Uh, and then the mission trip that we took to Belize was just wonderful. I cannot speak highly enough of um, the youth and adults who went on that. Um, as I said when we got back, I am so proud to be the pastor of this group of young people and adults, and I would take them anywhere uh, on a mission trip. They were just fantastic. And then because of the mission trip, we had some of our high schoolers do a sleep out for homelessness in October, realizing that the Lord has gifted us so that we can serve others. And so uh, one more way that our uh, young people are working at being a blessing to others. Uh, our confirmation uh, this year, um, on confirmation day, Confirmands say yes to the God who said yes to them in their baptism. And it's yes, I believe I'm a beloved child of God. And yes, I promise to live as a beloved child of God. And so to hear them, and if you had the privilege of hearing them on Wednesday nights as they share their confessions of faith were profound and moving and deep. Kids Hope the program we have over at the elementary school where we have, I think it's about 10 or 12 mentors who meet with uh, a child once a week, whoops, too fast, and um, befriend them, uh, help them be a blessing in their lives. It's just a wonderful, wonderful thing. Our quilt dedication we've been making, we, the women of our congregation, they don't want me making quilts, the women of the congregation have been making quilts for years and years and years, and those get sent all over um, to be a blessing to those who are um, who do not have enough, who are sometimes not warm enough, um, all around the world. Um, volunteering at the food shelf, we have a couple of months where we're responsible as a congregation to volunteer then, and we always have great volunteers who help uh, do that, and uh, blessed because one of the directors at the food shelf um, Joe Marie Williamson there at the front right is a member here at Light of Christ and living out our faith in helping the least of Jesus' sisters and brothers. Uh, Nourishing Hope, uh, that same kind of feeding ministry. We feed, uh, have about 70 to 90, depending on the month, uh, boxes that we give away of different kinds of food, and we do that with uh, other area churches. Um, we began it in the pandemic, um, because we knew the need was great, but the need has not lessened. It's something we just continue to need to do. Um, fifth Sunday offering, we have four of those each year. Um, you're invited to give generously, and you do. One of the fifth Sundays this year was to help uh, purchase a new van for the senior center here in Delano because the van they had was on its, its last legs. And so there you see Lana Joes from our mission committee giving the check to Nick Neaton, who is the director of the, the Senior Center. Uh, Love, Inc., Christmas sharing, that's something we've done every year. We're working with Love, Inc. We give gifts to those who otherwise would not have them. And then our healing and wholeness ministry, we are about the business of being a place which is working hard at ending the silence and the stigma around mental illness. We want to be a place where we can talk about those things uh, like we would any other illness, and uh, find healing and strength and comfort in one another. And so we did, a, again this year, walk a mile in my shoes to raise money uh, for those ministries. Then our music ministry, um, we are so blessed to have all the musicians that we did. Um, probably the shining example for me this year was Lessons and Carols. We had so many musicians involved, and I think I'm right that every one of the musicians belongs here at Light of Christ. We are so gifted uh, to have all the musicians that we do. 
Uh, the Christmas program <laughs> was great, fun as always, and to see uh, the kids involved in worship and leading us in uh, telling uh, the Christmas story, it was a highlight for me this Christmas season. And then uh, our columbarium, I am so thankful we have that. Um, we have used it uh, again this year, and I love the fact that we have that as a tangible symbol that we are an Easter people, that we believe that life does not end here in this world, but that what awaits us is far better than anything we could imagine. And so we live in the hope and in the joy uh, of Easter as God's people here. Then um, our newest partners, our newest members, I like to use the word partners rather than members because to be a part of Light of Christ is to be a part of our ministries here. And so just a joy as always to welcome our newest partners, Terry and Roxy Albers, Alice, Camden, Amelia, and Davin Vidal, Barry, Amy, Ben, and Chet Gronke, Mike, Brittany, William, and Alexander Hartnett, Christy Hoffman, Corey McGloggan, Nick Blake and Ronan Mullen, Mike, Alicia, Alicia, Caitlin, and Sydney Pink, Kirby, Carrie, Annika, and Zach Quaman, John, Linnea, and Jack Schnettler, Mary Schultz, Tom Screeden and Amy Murphy, Josh, Anna, Andalyn, and Veda Strike, John, Lydia, and Addie Wissink, and Rick and Sarah Zabel. They are, it's been a delight for me to get to know them. I pray that you do too. They will be great gifts to us. As a, as a congregation moving forward. Then I'm grateful for our call committee, hard at work as we seek the Lord's will in who will be the next pastor here at Light of Christ. So Mike and Billy and Sherry, Paul and Rhonda and Sophia, Natasha, Aaron and Pat. I thank my God for all those things, all those people, but it doesn't stop there. I thank God for all of you. Um, I'm curious, I want you to raise your hand high if you've been a partner in ministry here at Light of Christ in the past year. So worship, music, outreach, children and youth, property, serving here in worship, what, any way that you've been involved in any of the things we do here. So don't be shy. Raise your hand, okay? All right, raise them high, okay? Now I want you to look around, okay? Look at all the people who are serving our Lord here at Light of Christ. And this, of course, we can't see the people who are online as well, okay? We are God's beloved children, and we are living as God's beloved community. You are a great gift and a blessing to me, but I know that you are to one another and to so many others in, in the community. So what I'd like to do this morning to uh, end my sermon is uh, hopefully you got a white note card when you came in. I'd like you right now to um, answer the question, what do you thank God for or who do you thank God for as you think about our life together here at Light of Christ? So let's do that right now when you Thank God for light of Christ and who we are and what we do and our ministries, mission, our people. What comes to mind? So if you would um, go ahead and write that down. And then when it comes time for the offering, I'll have you put those in the offering plate. So let's take a few minutes to do that now. Thank you. 
The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Good and gracious Lord, we thank you so much for calling us into fellowship with you to be a part of your beloved community. We thank you, Lord, for our life together here at Light of Christ, for all the ways in which you have blessed us and all the things and the people, the ministries, the missions for which we are thankful. Lord, we ask that you would give us truly glad and grateful hearts, thankful for all that you continue to do, that we may be in an ever fuller way your living, loving presence, not just with one another, but with all those we meet each and every day. Bless us, Lord, so that we can be a blessing to many others, both near and far, and all God's children said, Amen. Amen.